Hello everyone! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to rotate an object in DaVinci Resolve 17. So here we have new project and we have an object that we're going to rotate. First of all you have to drag your object to timeline and uh, you have to stretch the region. Let's say I need to rotate this object from the beginning till this point. So in order to rotate your object you have to select it and in inspector you have rotation angle parameter which we will automate. How to do that? First of all you have to set your initial point and then press frame automation button. Then you have to select your end point when rotation will stop and change the rotation angle value. For example let's put here 5000. It means that uh, when you play your footage from the initial point till the end point your object will rotate for 5000 degrees. So now if we play our footage it will rotate. If you want to rotate it slower you have to set lower value. If you want to rotate your object faster you have to set higher value. If you want to rotate your object other direction you have to set the negative value. So this is the first option of how we rotate an object. And now I'm going to show you how to rotate an object in Fusion tab. Here we have our object, here we have our media out and in between we have to transform our object with transform node. You have to click on it and drag to the line which connects those two. With transform node selected you go to the inspector and here you find an angle wheel which also changed the angle of your object. Basically you have to click with the right mouse button on this uh, wheel and then hit expression and in this field you have to type time. This expression means that uh, your object will rotate the same amount of degrees as your project frame rate. For example if you have uh, your project frame rate 30 frames per second it will rotate 30 degrees per second. For example my project is 24 frames per second so if I will play my footage it will rotate for 24 degrees every second. If I want to rotate it uh, faster I have to multiply this value uh, for example multiply by 2 and it will rotate for 48 degrees every second. If you want to make it slower you can divide by any value for example divide by 2 and it will rotate for 12 degrees every second. If you want to rotate your object to the other direction you have to set the negative value. For example here we have counter clock rotation. If you want to rotate clockwise you have to set the negative value for example minus 2 and it will rotate clockwise. By the way if you rotate your object in fusion mode you don't have to um, reset anything if you want to change duration of your rotation. For example if you have your region stretched till this point for example it will rotate anyway if you automated it in fusion mode. But if you automated your rotation with uh, this parameter rotation angle where you set your end point here your rotation will stop. You have to delete this automation point where you set your value. You have to move um, and set new endpoint. For example here I want rotation to stop and here I have to set the new value. So of course it depends on what you want to do but rotation with the transform node is more convenient. This is it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit notification bell and like. This video is sponsored by capgeek.com, royalty free and production music. All the links in the description below. Thank you for watching.